to me, read to me, read to me. I love it when you read to me. Please read to me some more. <laughs> Hi, my name's Alice, and this is my dog, Tug. It's Tug story time. Today we're going to read The Puddle Garden by Jared Rosenbaum, illustrated by Laura Rosenbaum. This is all about Bear Cub who moves into a new house and finds a special way to make new animal friends. The Puddle Garden. Bear Cub's family moved to a new house. It was big and empty, inside and outside. It felt a bit lonely. Bear Cub looked in every room. There were no friends to be found. Bear Cub went outside. He looked in front of the house. Just grass. He looked behind the house. More grass. He looked next to the garage. Just grass. There were no friends to be found anywhere. Bear Cub was about to go back inside when he found a puddle in the middle of the lawn. Have you ever jumped in a puddle? Splash, muck, and splatter. Surely some friends would enjoy splashing with him. Bear Cub tromped and jumped, imagining friends joining him in the puddle. Bear Cub went to see his papa. Papa was unpacking the last big box. Papa, this house has lots of rooms and lots of grass, but no turtles or frogs or birds or butterflies to be my friends. Did you forget to pack them? Papa looked at Bear Cub thoughtfully. Turtles and frogs and birds come on their own, but only if they have plants and shelter and water. Bear Cub had an idea. He led Papa outside and pointed to the puddle. He imagined turtles and frogs and birds and butterflies, and he could see his Papa was thinking about that too. The next day, they took a trip to the plant nursery. They picked out cardinal flower and joe pie weed and white turtle head. They picked out blue flag iris and cinnamon fern and a beautiful big elderberry full of fruits. When they got home, Bear Cub and his parents went out to the puddle in the lawn and made it bigger and deeper. They lined the sides with the wildflowers they had bought and planted the elderberry on an island they made in the middle. Then Bear Cub went inside to take a nap. He was tired of all the digging, shaking, and planting. While Bear Cub napped, a hummingbird spotted the puddle garden and stopped to take a closer look at the cardinal flower. A catbird flew by and decided to land in the elderberry shrub. A tiger swallowtail butterfly saw a big pink joe pie weed flower head and tasted the nectar inside. Delicious! A Baltimore checker spot butterfly checked on the turtle head. A good place to lay eggs, she thought, with plenty of leaves for little caterpillars to munch on. A leopard frog hopped over and jumped right into the puddle. Splash! He took a swim. A box turtle ambled over and decided to sun herself on the edge of the puddle next to the giant fern frog. Just then, Bear Cub awoke. He saw his muddy footprints on the floor and followed them downstairs. There was his shovel and Mama and Papa's muddy pairs of boots. He kept following the footprints right on outside. The footsteps led to Bear Cub's puddle. Where there had once been a simple puddle, there was now a beautiful puddle garden lined with wildflowers with an elderberry shrub on an island in the center. He pulled the leafy stem aside and saw a hummingbird. 
sipping nectar from the cardinal flower with its long tongue. Bear cub climbed up into the elderberry and came nose to beak with a catbird. She was picking off sweet, ripe berries and swallowing them whole. He looked up through the world leaves of the Joe Pie weed and saw the swallowtail butterfly feasting on nectar from the pink flowers. By the edge of the pool, Bear Cub watched the Baltimore checker spot laying eggs on the leaves of the turtle head. Splash! The frog jumped into the pool as Bear Cub approached from behind the cinnamon fern. Bear Cub stepped up on a rock to have a better look at his wild garden. Oh, the rock was really a box turtle, soaking in the warm sun near the shelter of the blue flag iris leaves. The puddle garden was full of life. Turtles and frogs and birds and butterflies and all of their plant companions. Happily in the puddle, his new house had now become a home for him and for his friends too. A puddle garden is a special type of garden. It's a rain garden that's designed to be both beautiful and a home for wildlife. The most important ingredients in a puddle garden are the native plants. Native plants are wildflowers, shrubs, ferns, grasses, and trees that have lived in our region for many thousands of years. During that time, these plants have come to depend on native wildlife for pollination and seed dispersal. And wildlife species have come to depend on native plants for food and shelter. For more information on the species in this book, and resources on creating your own puddle garden, please visit thepuddlegarden.com. Dig, shape, plant. I love it.